Hello students, now let us start with 2017 NEET question paper. As we know, each question comprises of 4 marks, they are all total 45 questions, therefore total mark is 180. So let us start, I will start with 136 because first it was chemistry, then biology and in the question paper next we have is physics. Okay. So, question number 136, it says, that is question 1 for you. Two astronauts are floating in gravitational free space after having lost contact with their spaceship. The two will, what they will do? Number one, move towards each other, move away from each other, will become stationary, keep floating at the same distance between them. Two astronauts in the space, suppose this is one and this is another, they are in a space. Okay. In the space, there are no gravitational force, right? So, the only force they will have between each other. So, gravitational force will be there between the two bodies. Therefore, both of them will move towards each other. Other than that, nothing is there in the space, right? Your option number one will be the correct answer that is move towards each other. So, let me click on this. Number one is the correct answer. Now, let us move to the next question that is 137. Young's double slit experiment is first performed in air and then in a medium other than air. It is found that the eighth bright fringe in the medium lies where fifth dark fringe lies in air. The refractive index of the medium is, now you need to calculate the refractive index. So this is from the chapter wave optics of class 12, Young's double slit experiment, a very important one. So what we are going to do out here? for dark it is equal to 2 n minus 1 lambda d by twice d n is how much for dark it is given to be fifth 5 so n will be 5 so it will be 10 minus 1 lambda d by twice d that is 9 now for bright it is n lambda d by since the bright one was experimented in a medium okay so it will be mu multiplied with d so mu is the refractive index so n is how much out here eighth bright they are saying in the question if you see 8 lambda d divided by 8 divided by mu t. So, both are coinciding they say, right. So, y of dark is equal to y of bright. So, if you just equate this two, you can calculate the value of mu and it is coming out to be 1.78. So, let me go back. So, this is the correct answer. Now, let us move to the next question that is question number 138. Question number 138, it says that in a common emitter transistor amplifier, the audio signal voltage across the collector is 3 volt. The resistance of collector is 3 kilo ohm. If the current gain is 100 and the base resistance is 2 kilo ohm, the voltage and power gain of the amplifier is you have to calculate the voltage and the power gain that means AV and P, PV. So, how do you calculate this one? See beta is given to you 100, voltage gain AV is equals to beta RC by RB. So, beta is 100 and RC is how much in the question? It is 3 kilo, 3 divided by RB is 2. So, if you cancel out, it will go 50 times, it will be 150. So, voltage gain you got 150. Now, what will be the power gain? PV is equals to AV multiplied with beta. AB is 150 multiplied with 100. So, it will be 15000. So, this is the answer. We will see which option is correct. So, if you can see in the question, option number 2 is correct. So, now let us move to the next question that is question number 139. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर 139 एन अरेंजमेंट ऑफ थ्री पैरेलल स्ट्रेट वायर प्लेस परपेंडिकुलर टू द प्लेन ऑफ पेपर कैरिंग सेम करंट आई अलोंग द सेम डायरेक्शन एस शोन इन द फिगर मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ फोर्स पर यूनिट लेंथ ऑन द मिडिल वायर बी इज गिवन बाय ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर 138 वाज फ्रॉम सेमीकंडक्टर एंड देन आफ्टर दैट ओनली दे हैव गिवन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम मैग्नेटिक इफेक्ट्स ऑफ करंट now you have to see how to solve this one so the force acting on a conductor okay we know that f is equals to mu not i by 2 pi t mu not i square okay now f of ab will be equal to f of bc which is equals to mu not i square divided by 2 pi d but the angle between them is 90 degree so net force f will be equal to root 2 f of you can take ab or bc or which ab so root 2 mu not i square 2 i pi d so root 2 root 2 one root 2 get cancel out mu not i square divided by root 2 pi d so this is the answer now see the option which one is the correct answer mu not i square root 2 pi d so option number 3 is the correct answer now let us move to the next question that is question number 140 140 says the de broglie wavelength of a neutron in thermal equilibrium with heavy water at a temperature t in kelvin and mass m is given by so you have to go to the chapter dual nature of radiation and matter and there we have this formula okay so we need to calculate the wavelength fine for a neutron in thermal equilibrium i will show you the application part lambda is equals to h by root over of twice of m kinetic energy we know this one right okay now for a molecule twice m kinetic energy is 3 by 2 k b T, where KB is the Boltzmann constant and T is the absolute temperature. Two to get cancel out. Wavelength will be equal to H divided by root over of 3 m K B T. So this is your answer. Let us see on which option we have this. Option number one. This KB they have written as K. So option number one will be your correct answer. fine now let us go to the next question that is question number 141 question number 141 it says that radioactive metals a or a material a has decay constant 8 lambda and material b has decay constant lambda initially they have same number of nuclei after what time the ratio of number of nuclei of material b to that a will be 1 by e so we need to calculate the time so this is from the chapter nuclei from the talk pick decay constant so it's saying that na by nb will be equals to 1 by e also i can write down na by nb will be equals to n not e to the power minus lambda t but for a it is 8 lambda t divided by n not e to the power minus lambda And not and not cancel out. Also, Na by Nb can be written as one by e from this. So it will be e to the power minus eight lambda t divided by, or if I take it up, it will be e to the power minus lambda plus lambda t. And not and not get cancel out. So you have Na by Nb from equation one that is one by e e to the power minus 8 lambda t divided by e to the power minus lambda t so what i will get from here if i do it it will be e to the power minus 1 it will be e to the power it will be e to the power minus 7 lambda t now if you can equate the power it will be minus 1 will be equal to minus 7 lambda Minus minus get cancel out. Your time t will be equals to 
1 by 7 lambda. So, this will be your answer. Now, we will look into the option which one is the correct answer. Now, let us move to the next question. So, it is a <coughs> combination of gates from the chapter logic gates from semiconductor. The given electrical network is equivalent to which gate? So, A B is given this is an NOR gate. So, it will be A it will be A plus B bar right. So, if I take it to the other side it will take act like an another NOT gate this block input means it will be a NOT gate. So, it will be A plus B again ok. Now, here it will be A plus B. Now, A plus B is again entering to a NOT gate. So, what it will come finally, A plus B of whole bar that is the inverse final output will be the inverse right. So, your option is which one A plus B of whole bar is a NOR gate. So, NOR gate is option number 2. So, option 2 is the correct answer. Now, let us move to the next question that is question number 143. This is a common question which comes in CBC also. The resistance of a wire is R ohm. It is melted and stretched to n time its original length. Its new resistance will be. First, you need to take the original resistance and then you have to take the new resistance with the new length and the formula which we will be using is R is equal to rho L by A. This one you can use. Okay, there are many ways you can solve this one. So, finally, your answer for this one will be n square r. This is from a chapter called current electricity in class 12. So, number 2 is the correct answer n square r. Let us move to the next question that is question number 144. Question number 144, two cars moving in opposite direction approaching each other with the speed of 22 meter per second and 16.5 meter per second respectively. The driver of the first car blows a horn having frequency 400 hertz. The frequency heard by the other driver or the driver of the second car is and the velocity of the sound is taken as 340 meter per second. Okay, this is a question from the chapter waves known as Doppler's effect. So, what will be its formula? you need to calculate the frequency. Frequency f will be equals to the frequency of the what driver which was blowing horn f v minus velocity of the sound divided by minus velocity of the observer velocity of the sound minus velocity of the source. All of them were supplied to you it is there in the question. If you substitute them your answer will come out to be 448 hertz, 448 hertz. Bit of calculation has to be done. So, you do it by yourself and see your answer will be this one. So, the right option is option number 3. This is the, this is the correct answer. Question number 145, it says that in an electromagnetic wave in free space, the root mean square value of the electric field that is E R M S is given to be 6 volt per meter. The peak value of the magnetic field is you have to calculate that the peak value means the maximum value of the magnetic field will be how much. So, this is from the chapter I can say electromagnetic waves as well as well as alternating current formula will also come root mean square formula. So, first we will use the formula of electromagnetic waves which says E R M S divided by P R M S is equals to C. E R M S is given to you. So, B R M S can be calculated. B R M S will be equals to E R M S divided by C. So, it is given in the question to be 6. 6 divided by 3 into 10 to the power 8 that is the velocity of light. Now, once you know this you can calculate the maximum value of the magnetic field that is B naught or the peak value of the magnetic field. B R M S will be equals to B naught by root 2. We know this. So, B naught will be equals to root 2 B R M S. 
So BRMS is this one. So just substitute this one. You'll see that your answer for B naught will come out to be 2.83 into 10 to the power minus 8 Tesla. So this is the final answer. So option number 1 is the correct answer. Now let us move to the next question that is question number 146. 146 two rods A and B of different materials are welded together as shown in the figure. Their thermal conductivities are K1 and K2. The thermal conductivity of the composite rod will be. So you have to calculate the thermal conductivity. They are connected in which form you have to know. So this one will be H1 plus H2. So it can be written as K A T2 minus T1 divided by D plus if this is K for H1 it will be K1 K2 A T2 minus T1 divided by D. Now if you solve this one your K equivalent that is your thermal conductivity equivalent will come out as K1 plus K2 divided by 2. So this is a direct question from the chapter thermal properties of matter. Okay. So you can use this one. Option number 4 will be your correct answer. Now let us move to the next question that is question number 147. Question number 147. Which one of the following represent forward bias diode? Option number 1 you see. How do you understand this one? See. This is minus 4 volt, this is minus 3 volt. Which one is higher? This one is positive. This one at higher potential. This one at lower potential. Look at this one, this one at higher potential, this one at lower potential. Look at this one, this one at higher potential, this one at lower potential. Look at this two, this one at higher potential, this one at lower potential. So, in forward bias, the positive is connected to the P side and negative is connected to the n side. So, this is the only option which is sustaining for forward bias. Other than that, all the three are reverse bias. This is from the chapter semiconductor again. So, option 4 is the correct answer. So, now let us move to the next question that is question number 148. A 250 turn rectangular coil of length 2.1 centimeter and width 1.25 centimeter carries a current of 85 micro ampere and subjected to a magnetic field of strength 0 0.85 tesla. Work done for rotating the coil by 180 degree against the torque will be. Okay. This is a question from the chapter magnetism. Now how you are going to solve it? I will give you hint. You try to solve it by yourself. See you will be using the formula work done is equals to mb cos theta 1 minus cos theta 2. With the help of this one, your work done that is the energy, it will come out to be 9.1 micro joule. This one will be your final answer. So, option 4 is the correct answer. Now, let us move to the next question that is 149. If theta 1 and theta 2 be the apparent angles of deep against in two vertical planes at right angle to each other, then the true angle of deep is given by this is again from arts magnetism a direct question a simple solving is required you will see that your answer will come out to be cot square theta will be equal to cot square theta 1 plus cot square theta 2. So option number 4 is the correct answer. Name the gas that can radially decolorize acidified KMNO4 solution. So if you see in options this SO2 that is sulfur dioxide is act as your reducing agent. So this sulfur dioxide can easily decolorize this KMNO4.